Okay, uh, so today we're going to start with uh, lecture number four in uh, Primavera uh, P6 version 18. Okay, and today lecture is going to be about the resources in Primavera. Uh, to remind you in our channel, we're going to give courses in Primavera P6 and PMP and RISCs and Six Sigma. And also my colleague Said also uh, would like to give some courses in project management, especially for the people who just started their career and they would like to be a professional engineer or would like to be a scheduler or project manager. So uh, we'll give some courses how to start your career when you finish, finish your college and your university, how you start, what courses you need and what a program you need to be good in your career and you will get a good job. So I think we're going to do a survey uh, on the page for everyone to give his opinion and tell us what he need for his career. Okay. Uh, to remind you, our channel on YouTube uh, called Learn Project Management and is linked with our page in uh, Facebook. So you can find all the courses that we have done so far in English version and in Arabic version in that channel. If you would like to review all the Primavera courses in uh, uh, Arabic version, you will find it. Go by a playlist. You will find playlist in Arabic and you will find a playlist in English. Uh, and this is a little information if this is the first time for you today. This is some information about me who are giving this uh, free courses and we are right now in the beginner course in P6. So we are in, uh, in uh, lecture number four, which we're going to talk about the resources. So this is information about me. If you need any help, if you have any problem downloading the Primavera uh, into your computer, let me know. And the intention is to make all this lecture in English. I hope it's clear for everyone benefit, especially for the country that they do not talk Arabic. So you can communicate with me through our project management page or through our channel or by email address uh, and you will find our courses everywhere. Uh, this is overview about wha what we planned so far uh, uh, for Primavera P6 beginner uh, 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 course and expert course, PMP and risk and Six Sigma and also we're going to add a project management courses, how you start your career and Eugene Said also is thinking about Microsoft project. So we're going to arrange that and we're going to see uh, which course we're going to start after we finish uh, this course. In our channel you will find playlist in Arabic as you, as you see here, you will find English lectures and you will find also the Arabic lectures and some lectures we have added for PMP, uh, how to uh, pass PMP. I also selected some good videos about how uh, to manage your project, about project management, about how to apply for a job, how to manage the, your interview. And you can find all these guidelines because I know right now it is very tough to find a job and how you prepare yourself for the interview, what questions you, uh, you will get in the interview. So we have added uh, all these uh, lectures and you can find them in uh, overview of our channel. Uh, and if you have any questions, you need any help, uh, let me know. Again, uh, to remind you guys, you can go and download the Primavera P6 version 18. This is the latest revision in the program Primavera. And Primavera is a project management software. You can manage your project. Is there any difference between Primavera and Microsoft project? Yes, Microsoft project is a small tools to manage a project. Primavera is a wide tools, is enterprise tools. You can manage many companies at the same time. If you have companies doing infrastructure, company doing building, telecommunications, airport, you can have all of these companies, not only project, in the database, and you can have all the resources, organizational chart, everything, and you can manage 
all these resources in one platform, in one software. Okay, here is the links to our uh, channel. I'm gonna add it here in the uh, comment. And also the video, how to do installations for uh, P6. I will add these two videos for you guys after we finish. Uh, if you would like to go for guidelines, if you have problem with database configurations, uh, because this is the important part or the difficult part when you download the software it is difficult to do uh, a database configurations so I'm gonna add uh, this again for you and feel free to ask any questions or any help because the intention in our channel or on our page is to give hand to everybody is to help as much as we can is to give you the courses and the books that help you improve your career so feel free to ask or communicate with my colleague Saeed or myself or send uh, to my email address what you need. Because many people right now, they are struggling with a lot of courses online, a lot of courses, and they have been distracted to choose the right career, the right course, to get the good job. So our role here is to help you guys and, and give you help as much as we can. As you can see right now in the Facebook live courses, we have given uh, lecture number one uh, for course overview and P60 history. We explain uh, uh, Primavera P6 how it started uh, in 1996 and all the development that have been done in this software. The second lecture was in WBS, how you create the WBS uh, to your project. WBS, guys, it is the work breakdown structures. How you divide your project into more manageable component. If you plan to do a house or building or the streets or whatever, you have, you have to manage that. You have to divide it into small packages and you assign responsibility to each package so that everyone can go and be responsible for this package and also he can follow up with you and get it done. The last lecture was create activities and links. And what I'm saying here, it is the logical sequence to build any plan. It's the logical sequence to build any project. So this sequence here is applicable to any project. If you intended to build a highway, if you intended to build a bridge or airport, this is the logical sequence that you're gonna do to build your schedule. And by the end of this course, I, I'm, I'm gonna do a complete a project for, for the bridge from A to Z, from creating the scope of work until we do the monitoring and controlling. So uh, today is lecture number four as highlighted in red. Here it is for the resources. Okay, this is what we said. We're gonna do a complete model of a project from A to Z for anyone who need to recap all the course in one lectures. Okay, resources. Resources right now is very important and as you can see in the market, oil and gas prices going up and down, money, fluctuation, everything. So the resources is very important and many countries, they have poor resources, some countries have of resources. So in Primavera, you can manage many resources like time, time is a resource, money, equipment, personnel, material. We will focus on the three highlighted in red, equipment, personnel, and material. Equipment is a machinery. The machinery, your graders, your excavators, and the, how they live in Primavera, it is called non-labor resource. So this is very, very important for you guys. Equipment, like graders, excavators, grain, uh, how I identify this in P6, it is non-labor, non-labor, sorry. Personnel, this is the people like project manager, foreman, whatever you have on site for your staffing. It's called the labor resources. Labor resources. Okay, material. Material is a material like cement, concrete, whatever painting material, whatever you're going to buy from the market. It is considered a material. Okay, why uh, this resources is so important? Yeah, uh, who asked about the dashboard? Yes, I'm going to do something about the dashboard. 
uh, in Primavera and also in Excel and also in the risk analysis. Yeah, thanks for your comment, Abdullah. We're going to do something for that. Yeah, for the resources, uh, why it's important? Because it helps you track your progress and evaluate your extension of time. If you have any problem, disruption claims, and, uh, and you need to measure uh, your daily activity on site. So the resources is very important. So please keep in mind the three important resources, equipment, personnel, and the materials, and how we name them in P6, because this is going to help us when we go and start working in primavera. As you can see here, I made a little photos for you guys to uh, help you remind, uh, remind of that. Resources labor. Here's the labor. I hope you can see now the screen. So this is called labor. The staff that you can see, uh, the, the direct uh, uh, people, foreman, they are called labors. And how we add them in P6, it will come soon. Okay. Non laborers, non labor which is the equipment. You can see this lovely food is for the excavators. It's brand new. Okay, so this is called non laborers. So your equipment called non laborers. Okay. I hope you can catch with me. Like any comment if something is not clear. Material. This is a slide for materials, and you can see here different kind of gravel, sand, and this is called the material. And any painting, any any purchase you're gonna do from your market, it is called material. Okay, I hope this is clear, and you understand it. Okay, how we manage that in Primavera? Okay, let us go right now to the live software Primavera version 18 and you can see that in our uh, modeling. Okay. I hope you can see my Primavera right now. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so now we are working on the same model. This uh, called, uh, I call it project management uh, program. And this is a model of office building, which have WBS design and engineering, foundations, structures, mechanical and electrical, exterior finishes and interior finishes. In literature number one, who, for who missed it, we said how to build this WBS, you have to go to your left tab here. It's called the WBS. And you will go and start adding your WBS one by one. And we have many lectures in our channel and here how to create the WBS. So if you still have any questions about how to create the WBS, the work breakdown structure, let us know, send your questions, we can repeat again. I will go from the top here to the activities again, and you can see here your WBS. If I go to uh, the layout and I make uh, expand all, you will see your activities and your WBS. Okay, I will go back again here and I will make collapse all, it will collapse it to one level. So this is the way how you uh, 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 filter or organize your schedule to save your time when you are working on a project. So let me go back and expand all. Okay, I hope now more concentration because we're going to talk about very, very important part in uh, P6. Okay, thank you, Zuhair, for joining us. So if you go on top to enterprise, enterprise. Okay, under enterprise, you will find what? You'll find uh, the one number fifth resources. Okay, and you will find resource code and you will find cost account. Okay, so under enterprise, you will find resources, resource code, and cost account. Why I'm using that? Because we need to classify our cost or our resources per category, like. Uh, Earthwork or uh, 
concrete work or finishing or whatever you have, costing, you're going to do a uh, mini costing account and this is very, very important for costing engineer to know how to manage the cost in P6 uh, uh, and I'm going to give uh, some courses in the advanced uh, level in Primavera about cost control and how you do that in P6. So if you choose the first one, the resources, it will show you all the resources that you have in your project. Okay, and you will go to the resources here and you can make collapse all, okay, and you will find right now these three categories that we have talked about it in the slides. In Primavera you have uh, three categories of, re of resources, labor, non labor and the material, and we have explained that in the slides. If you still have any questions, uh, let me repeat that again. So you can go and group and sort, organize your resources by type like labor, material, and non-labor, okay? You can go back again and expand all, and you, you will see all the resources that you have assigned to your project, okay? So from this tab here, we will add the resources. Let me go and add some of the resources. By the way, I will go to the, you know, this on your right hand the plus sign add okay i will go and i will add by the way call it pm project management and i will call it uh, project management resource okay sorry for my writing and i will finalize like that okay so now i created a uh, a resource called uh, project management and as you can see right now here by default it has come to non labors non labors okay I would like to change this to make it by the way material and you you can see right now okay it became material and you see that now the side here became uh, different so I can add any resource I can it shows the type of the resource it's going to be material, it's going to be what, okay, and also I will choose the unit of measures, so this is very important, I'm going to use by the way by ton, okay, so I created now a resource, I give a name, and I give a type like materials, okay, and I give a unit of measures like ton, so I hope this is clear right now, so from enterprise, you go to the resources, and then you can add all your resources. You can categorize your resources the way you like, okay? After that, you have under enterprise resource code. I'm not gonna do this uh, time here, but you will go to resource code, and uh, by the way, you can see on my screen, he is making by contractor, contractor A and B and C. If I need, by the way, I have, by the way, hundreds of contractor on site and each contractor has his own resources and I need to monitor and control each contractor. I can go and create a source code and I can go by the way from section A to section Z, contractor number A, and they have crane, graders, whatever you have, and you can assign a code uh, for that to be able to manage or to see how this contractor is performing. Okay, so we have talked about creating the resources we have talked about creating the resource code okay. and all of that from the enterprise. The last one is in this lecture is a cost account. Okay. I need to have cost account for each resources or each work package. So I will go to the cost account under enterprise and I will create my cost account. So A, I have created here what's called earth work. And B, concrete work, I can go for the 300, I can make it, by the way, uh, finishing. Okay. I can go, by the way, uh, for 400, make it exterior, whatever you have, or make it HVAC, HVAC. So, I can go for the, resource, for the cost account, create cost account. If your company has a costing account system, you can use it to do that, or you can tie it here, so that when you work with a cost engineer and your costing department, you can give them all the uh, information from P6 
in their costing course uh, and they would like to know what is the actual, what is the budget cost and what is the meaning. You can do that here and I prefer you have your spreadsheet ready before starting doing this in PCS and you can add all your company if you are working in engineering, consultancy or highways or bridges or whatever you have building and we have each company they have their costing system they have their costing software but also in Primavera you can use that and you can apply it here okay so now we have talking about three uh, important categories it is the resources and the source code and costing account let us go back to our project and we said that our project is a project uh, in the office building and a, a model that we used to uh, give some lectures here on this channel on this page so by the way i will go to activity number a1 this one here design building uh, uh, additions and how can i assign the resource you can see on the left tab add resource here i highlighted here in the bottom of the page okay and I would like to go and filter all the resources, okay? And I will be, by the way, design engineer. I will assign design engineer as a resource. I hope this is clear, guys. Uh, yes, thank you, uh, Habib. Uh, let me know if you have any question, Habib. So now what we are doing right now, we are assigning resources to each activity. And by default, you're going to have all this information is ready for you from the uh, contract department or the estimation, the estimation department or project management department what resources you have you are not inventing the wheels you are scheduler or project control so this guy will help you give you the information you want so i went right now to the design uh, building additions and to the add resource tab and i add a design engineer as a resource okay what i can go here okay how many hours this engineer is gonna work on this task i'm gonna add by the way 100 hours yeah please uh, i need full concentration please guys because this is very very important so now we have added uh, the resource called the design engineer and then we have added the budgeted unit this engineer is gonna work in this package or this activity for 100 hours okay and after that i can go to the cost account here and I would like, by the way, to choose uh, cost account number 100. So now I have the budget unit. I have the cost account. Okay, the actual unit and the remaining unit and all this stuff will do it when we go do the progress update. But for this lecture, because we are adding the resources, we are adding the, uh, adding the resources, adding the cost code, and adding the resource code. I hope this is clear. Okay, if I go by the way to site preparations here, and I would like to assign a resource, and I would like to filter, by the way, it's very easy, you go here, filter by all active resources. Let me do it again. You go to assign resource, and you highlight the display, and filter by all active resource, okay? I need to get excavator, excavator, okay? So I added now excavators. And you can see right now, by default, the program added excavators and added budgeted unit for 40. I'm going to add, by the way, 50 uh, hour. So you need this excavator to do the site preparations for uh, 50 hour. What cost account? I will go to this tab here and I will choose else work. Okay. So right now you added excavators and you added the budgeted unit and you added the cost account i hope this is easy let us choose another one so that you can repeat the process design building uh, constructions let add, add a design engineer and we add a cost code make it 100 and we add a budgeted unit 120. okay so I think uh, right now we are done with this lectures. What we have done in this lectures is uh, uh, adding the resources from the enterprise resources, adding the source code to make coding for your resources or your contractors, and also adding the cost account, okay? 
and go to each activity and you assign the resource like what I'm doing here and you add the budgeted unit which you can have from your estimation department and you can assign also the cost code I hope this is a very easy and nice lectures for you guys uh, uh, and helping you managing the Primavera Primavera, if you do this task in Primavera you can do it in Excel so you can do it in Microsoft project software or you can do it in any other software if you understand the concept okay you can do this concept in any uh, other software this uh, picture is very very important and the, if you need to repeat it back again and again because this is very important for the early value analysis and when you track your progress when you track your costing and how you export this into excel how to do monitoring and controlling you can do that so yeah so you remember how to deal with the resources what kind of resources labor non-labor and material i hope you liked this lecture today and i'm gonna stay around five minutes for any questions please how to create a cost code okay uh how to create a cost code uh, enterprise uh, uh i am go to enterprise and then you go to cost code can you see my screen okay I can see now screen. Okay, so from enterprise, you go to cost account, and then you can add mini cost account. And let me add a description here. By the way, I added some of them, uh, my friend here, and I will add more. By the way, I'm gonna add, by the way, uh, uh, any cost account you would like to see, paint. Okay, uh, paint. And I can give a description here. You can see here, it has a cost ID 500. It has a, a cost account name paint. And I can go down here and I can add descriptions, by the way, from my engineer, by the way. Uh, I'm just I like anything, okay. So by default, you, got, you will have your uh, 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 bill of qualities. And bill of quantities have numbering if you are using, by the way, CSI coding or your company has a bill of qualities or it has a costing account system. You can use a costing account system and you go to enterprise under cost account and you add all your cost account. And also the program is very nice. It, you can give a description, by the way, you got this cost account from this person or from this guy and what is the descriptions, what's included. Once you add all the costing account, after that, you will go to each activity like what we did here, and you assign the resource. Let me do again for some of the resources. I will go to by the way site preparation. I'm gonna add a resource. Okay, for me please. Now I added a resource. I will add a budgeted unit by the way from your costing account budgeted unit 20, and I will go here and I will assign by the way. Uh, you can say uh, earth work cost account so now uh, uh, yeah, we have gone to the uh, tools enterprise and to costing account and you're gonna create all your cost account which you will have it from your costing engineer or cost department or your bill of qualities and you assign all of that and you can add a description for that and then after that you go to each activity and you assign the resource and you assign the units, how much unit, because after that you're going to add a price and the program is going to do the price, multiply the unit, going to give you the cost, we'll, look it in, we'll make it in the next lectures, and you also you're going to do the cost account, assign the cost account, because we need to uh, uh, see all of that. Yes, is, the, uh, is it available in YouTube? Yes, I, it's available in YouTube. I have added all the lectures in English and in Arabic, uh, uh, Ahmed. And you will find nine lectures in English, and also you will find around nine uh, uh, lectures in Arabic. Uh, let me send you here uh, the YouTube. Okay, how to add it here? I will add it. Okay, I will add it here. So you can find right now, uh, I added the, the link for the YouTube. In, in the channel, uh, Ahmed, you will find. The courses in Arabic, a complete list. The courses in English, a complete list. And some courses about PMP, 
and some courses about how to apply for the job, how to get your to, to prepare yourself in English, especially we are talking about English because we need all the guys to talk English very well and they uh, join a good companies and they be professionals in getting uh, high standard jobs. The intention here is to make the life easy and we need to use the in international terminology for Primavera, for P6, for project management. So feel free Ahmed or anyone to ask for any questions. I will be more than happy to answer that. Uh, any other question, guys, before we close this, uh, this lectures and see you next uh, Saturday, same time in this uh, page. Any, uh, anyone have any other questions about our channel, our, our page? Uh, my friend Saeed is going to do a survey. What you need after that? What lectures do you need? And I think he's trying to organize with more instructors to give more courses. And uh, I told him I can give uh, uh, Primavera uh, advanced levels. After that, or I can give some courses in risk or project management or how to start uh, your career, uh, what courses you need, what software you need. Don't spend a lot of time getting more certificates. I saw many people in the market who would like to get PMP, PSP, PMI, whatever, hundreds of certificates. At the end of the day, he is not professional and he cannot do any job. You have to focus to get experience. You have to focus to get something that when you join in a company you can add a value you have to add a value to any company that you join you need only one or two certificate but you need to learn how to do the work you need to learn the software if you are working as a draftsman you need to know AutoCAD or CivilCAD or Revit or Primavera uh, can you uh, explain how to explain to us how to export to Excel. Yes, we can do that, but we didn't have a lot. If you go to uh, Abdullah to uh, file, and you will find under file here on the right side, uh, import or export. Okay. I will make export, and, and then I will choose. You have multiple uh, options here. Uh, you can make it as XCR file, you can make it as a Primavera contractors or XML or something like that, all my, so all spreadsheet, okay? Let me hide this one here. You can make it as a spreadsheet, Excel, next. Okay, and the program is gonna ask you, Abdullah, what information would you like to export, okay? So, I will choose activities, I will choose the relationship, expenses, resources, and the source assignment. I need to choose all of that to export. Best way to, to study for an exam. Uh, for what? Which exam? For PMP? Okay, I have a lecture, my friend, about PMP, but let me finish this task uh, right now. How to export from Primavera to Excel? You're gonna go, uh, uh, let me go back again, and I will go uh, uh, File, Export. Uh, I will choose all the information, activities, activities relationship, uh, expenses, resources, and resource assignment. Next. And then I will choose the pro uh, which program, project management. And then I will go make next. And I will choose the locations. Okay. And then finish. By this way, you can export your uh, uh, work into uh, uh, Excel. Let me see if I have it here on my screen or not. I think I, th I send it to somewhere else. Okay, but this is the way how you export from Primavera. You go to File, Export, and then choose if you need it in Excel, and you choose which which things you would like to have only activity or uh, <coughs> activity uh, relationship, expenses, resources, resource assignment, and then which project. And let me go here and choose the locations. I'm gonna choose in the desktop so that we can see it. Uh, project project okay and then I will make finish I will go to Excel and let me here go and see what I have added project was project I cannot see here okay I think it's sent it to my, my my document so this is the way how you import or export to Primavera and Excel and for uh, <coughs> my friend who asked me about uh, 
uh, how to prepare for the exam. If you are talking about PMP, I have added the lectures for uh, PMP. I will go right now in my channel here. Let me explain my channel for you guys so that gonna be easy. Okay. If you go to uh, my, the project management channel, I, I hope you can see my screen right now. Let me check if you can see it or not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You can see right now in, in my screen uh, our YouTube channel. I hope you can see it right now. Uh, in the channel you will go by playlist. Okay. In the playlist you will find the uh, Facebook live classes. This is the classes that we have added every Saturday at 7 p.m. Okay. And you will find overview uh, overview of the channel courses. You will find ongoing tasks requires a different approach. You will find, by the way, courses here. This one here about the, about the project management. What you need to know about project management, how you manage your project, and I call the lectures six Bs. Six Bs means what? Uh, planning, uh, proper planning, prevent project poor performance it's called six p's six p's so i added this lecture here and also you, have, you will find a lot of lectures about our channel and also if you go to the uh, english lectures you will find all the primavera courses you have 12 lectures in english primavera from a to z doing the updates doing everything maybe the sound of the voice in, in youtube is not clear and facebook is not clear but you will find everything here in our channel and also uh, our friend who asked about the PMP okay I have added here a lectures PMP uh, tips and tricks and how you pass the exam what material you want uh, what you need to study and all guidelines uh, to go and pass the exam how you manage the exam what you need to know uh, what books you want, how many hours, and all the requirements I have added to the channel. So I hope guys you uh, enjoy this lecture. Uh, if there are any other questions, guys, uh, to reply before uh, closing this session. If not, I'm going to close and see you next Saturday. And I hope you enjoyed and I wish you uh, a greeting. And for anyone who going to fast and I will take happy Ramadan. And see you next time and enjoy. Uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.